Sunlight versus clear light. I mean, these are the two most popular sauna companies on the planet. You could argue probably the two most popular sauna companies in the world. And I can see why people would still have, you know, questions about these in the new year, even though, you know, this has kind of been beat to death. But so let's talk about who clear light versus sunlight and who makes the best sauna. Really, the answer to this is, uh, you know, what your goals are, like what's important to you. What are you looking for in a sauna? Is this a commercial application? Is it residential? Do you have any concerns? Are there anyone that's health impaired that's going to use it? Do you have children? Do you have a family? Blah, blah, blah. Are there electrical requirements that um, you have limitations on that would influence your you know, purchase decision or whatever? So let's get into some of these. This was a response that I was going to craft for someone. And I was like, you know what? It's a new year. We haven't talked about this in a while. Let's go through some of this. Some of these products have been updated. So go through a few of the finer details that maybe some of the sales agents at these companies, when you call them, aren't telling you. Um, but here we are, you know, several years later, still beating the dead horse. But uh, the real answer is it depends on, you know, what your criteria is for the sauna. Um, Sunlight is, an, is known for like amazing cabinet quality. The build quality on their cabinetry is great. However, their EMF levels can still be kind of high depending on, you know, which model you're looking at. They have released new testing, you know, in the last couple of years, they've improved them. But most of the testing is really just showing you magnetic fields. It's not addressing the electric fields. Sure, they have third party, you know, testing that pulls a heater out, sends it to a lab, shows you a spot measurement for electric fields and, you know, all this kind of stuff. But it's really not, um, it's not helping decipher, you know, what the actual measurements are in the sauna when it's in operation. So. A lot of times the, um, you know, the clear lights will always test better. They've done a much better job at mitigating, you know, the electric fields. I don't think VOCs are an issue in either one. If they are, you know, clear lights can be a little less, but two very different products. Uh, let's talk about some of the pros and cons. Like the person, it's, it's two different customers. If you want a fancy sauna with an, a tablet in it that has modes that can rotate through different, like, you know, infrared modes and turn things on and off and all that kind of stuff, then buy the sunlight. It's going to be a better, better choice for you. If you don't care about EMF or you don't care about, you know, some of those safety things, buy the sunlight. It's not a, you know, it's probably not an issue for you. If you do care about that, or you are going to have your kids or family members or somebody that's health impaired, or you're going to use this at a detox center or a health, um, you know, uh, some type of medical facility or something like that, I would urge you to reconsider and think about that. So you might have better cabinet build quality with a sunlight, but you know, the safety might be better in a clear light. And then, you know, there's the other thing of, I might not choose either one of these. It depends on what your criteria is. It's hard for me to know everything, you know, that a person wants without speaking to you individually. But, you know, fancy sauna, full spectrum, you know, how I feel about that. Uh, go ahead and buy the sunlight. You don't care about EMF. You know, you want something. The other thing is electrical requirements. Like I talked about in the, in the beginning, if you don't have access to 240 or if it's not in the budget to hire an electrician to drop a circuit or drop a line for where you want to install this, if you're in a residential application or you're not doing commercial build out or something like that, I mean, that's going to limit most of the sunlight and saunas, um, you know, require a lot more power. There's some clear light premieres that run on a 15 amp. There's a clear light one person sanctuary that'll run on 15 amp, but the majority of them uh, are going to be, you know, much higher power requirements. You're not going to get away with a traditional outlet for something like that. And then if that's what you're looking for, you know, you might check out the certified sauna list. There's two or three other brands, maybe Radiant Health or, you know, one of the other ones that I list on there that would be even a better fit. Like I might not choose either one of these depending on what it is that you're looking for. So despite having, you know, updated EMF testing for the sunlight and saunas, they're still not quite, quite where the um, clear lights are, some of the other brands, even this year. But one of the things that I really wanted to talk about, what I what I really want to get to in this video is the full spectrum stuff. So everyone is stuck on, you know, everyone wants red light therapy for the skin benefits. We've got a lot of people buying face masks this year, uh, trying to heal, you know, like wrinkles and cellulite and all these kind of things. Um, and so there's a big push from a lot of the sauna companies to talk about red light therapy, talk about full spectrum saunas. And I want to make it extremely clear that a lot of the full spectrum saunas aren't giving you therapeutic grade PBMT. So if you don't know what photobiomodulation is, the red light therapy effect that everyone is after to achieve you know, skin healing benefits or skin improvements is the PBMT. You're not going to get PBMT from you know, low output, poorly designed you know, red light therapy devices. A lot of the full spectrum saunas fall into this requirement 
which or into this situation, which we're going to talk about in a second. And then so you've got, you know, dosage, strength, uh, length of exposure, and then distance. Distance is huge. So in the sunlightens, like if you're looking at an impulse, it's the same thing. There's an LED array that's behind the grill. You know, there's small LEDs, probably a panel of 50 LEDs or less. I haven't counted the new ones. But basically, they're still behind the grill. And if you're on a particular mode in the sauna that rotates through those, they'll come on for a certain number of minutes and yada, yada. This is very different. Like if you measure the exposure and the output for that versus what you're going to get from a body panel, they're not the same. Just the output's not the same. The absorption's not going to be the same being behind the grill. Like you can't, you can block far infrared like that. And it doesn't really affect it too much, but you can't block red light therapy like that. Even the invisible portions of the spectrum, it's, it definitely affects the performance. And similarly, clear light sanctuary has an issue too. I mean, you've got these scorching hot heaters in the front on the back of the glass. And while they do get hot and they add a lot of heat to the sauna, it's kind of negligible how much near infrared you're going to get. I mean, you can go on our Facebook group, the certified sauna community, and you can see me testing it with a spectrometer and it kind of falls off a cliff, you know, a thousand nanometers and down, which is where you would really want to see it amp up. And then you've got distance. I mean, yeah, your knees or your calves or your legs or your, the bottom half of your torso is getting hammered with that heat, you know, in a clear light sanctuary. But is that really giving your body, is that giving your torso and the parts that you would want to, um, absorb that in the right areas? In my opinion, it's not. So neither one of these, you know, really are a great choice for that. It, I still believe that you'd get more benefits from a far infrared sauna with a separate red light body panel, right? Like outside of the sauna, or if you want, you can mount it in there, but something that actually has its own power supply with its own cooling fans. I mean, there's a reason why those are built like that because the output is much higher. And then you can do the red light therapy add-on in a clear light sanctuary, which does actually start to give you real uh, PBMT. However, I wouldn't do that unless you're looking at a larger sauna with a large 20 amp power supply. Because on the smaller saunas, you have a fixed power supply with a certain amount of wattage allocated to that on that circuit within that build. When you add two, three, you know, 100 watt accessories to those saunas, they don't just magically create that power out of thin air. It's coming from somewhere. And so... I would argue that this is kind of robbing um, some of the effectiveness from the far infrared system in those in those saunas, and I would urge you to, you know, really pay attention to that because while you might get all these extra, you know, gizmos and you might add red light therapy to the sauna, are you hindering the performance of the far infrared? Are you just did you just steal 300 watts of power, you know, from the existing system? And so you really have to think about that. And so it really comes down to what you know your goals are. Um, I focus on far infrared still. I get um, separate red light body panels. There's a whole bunch of them. I'll be dropping some reviews on those soon. But as far as the the sunlight and signature and the clear light premiere, those aren't full spectrum saunas, so different set of rules apply. But this was mainly geared towards the impulse and the sanctuary, the clear light sanctuary. And so depending on what your needs are, either one of those could be a great fit for you. Uh, without more details, we've kind of covered a few of the, you know, the pitfalls. You don't get sucked into one because it, has all three wavelengths or, you know, it does these fancy modes or it does this. And then the other thing is, where is that on here? The chromotherapy, like a lot of the sales agents will tell you that, oh, you don't need red light therapy because you have chromo chromotherapy in the ceiling. So you can still get some red light in there. It's not the same. It's just ambient lighting. Like if it makes you feel better or, you know, if that affects your mood or you like that, hey, great. But you're not getting PBMT from chromotherapy lights. You're just not. If you look at all the studies on lasers and things, it's not even close to the output that would be required to achieve that same result. You need a dedicated body panel to do that. And so my recommendation would be, you know, it's kind of like I've said throughout this whole thing. If you're looking for fancy, don't care about EMF, price isn't an issue, don't have a problem putting in 240 or dedicated 20 or 30 amp outlets, and you like the sunlightens, buy one of those. If you do care about, um, you know, EMF or VOC or, you have health impaired people, I'd probably choose the clear light. And then if you're somewhere in the middle of those, I'd probably look at the certified sauna list and maybe choose something else altogether. Just depends on, you know, what your criteria is. If you have any additional questions, you can drop them in the comments below and I'd be happy to make a subsequent video. Hope you're well. Happy New Year.